Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and welcome back to the fourth episode in my course play tutorial series. In the last episode in this series, we covered the basics of creating and using courses. Uh, in this episode, I actually want to take a look at saving and loading courses. And so when we bring up the course play HUD, on the Manage Courses tab, you can see this uh, is actually a list of folders here. Course play is a little bit different in FS17 in that in previous versions, the courses used to be saved specific to the game save, but now the courses are actually specific to the map. And so you, if you have four or five saves on one computer, but they're all on Goldcrest Valley, well, they'll all share the same course play courses which is kind of handy, but it's a, a little annoying too. So uh, so that's why you see some courses in here is because those are being carried over from other games that I have done or am doing on Goldcrest Valley. So the first thing I want to do here is we're going to have to go ahead and record a course. So we'll come back over here and we'll say start course recording. And I'll start up my tractor. And as you can see, we're putting down waypoints there, recording our course. And then I'm just going to kind of come over here and we'll go ahead and stop this course. So now that I've recorded it, I can click the save icon up here. And this box will come up where I can type in a course name. And for this one, we'll just say temp1. And so you just type it in and then press enter. And now the course is right here. So this is temp one. So if you wanted to organize this into a folder, you can make a new folder and we can call this temp folder and press enter. So now I've got this temp folder. If I want to move this course up into that folder, what I can do is click the move button here and then I select the folder like that and now temp folder has my temp course in it so I could move that out if I wanted to back up to level zero and I could then move it into say my transfer folder like that and then of course the other option you have here is you can also delete this course so then I'm going to go ahead and also delete this temp folder. So we don't need that. And I'll clear this out. Now I'm going to head over here to the shop. And I'll bring up course play again. And as you can see, I've got this transfer folder. If I open it in here, there's a, a course called shop to farm. This is pre-recorded from one of my other games. So I can load this up and here you can see there's that course at the beginning. So now if I want to drive this course, all I have to do is make sure that I'm in transfer mode and then select first waypoint and drive course. And now my tractor will automatically drive over there. And of course we can't see them now that we're not in the tractor, but and then it will follow this course all the way back to the farm. And if I want, I can hop back in to the tractor, there we go. I just tabbed into it. And we can follow along as it's following this course back to the farm. So that's the basics of saving and loading courses. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about with regards to courses, let me get out of the road so we don't have any cars beeping at me here. One of the things I wanted to talk about with regards to saving courses is course organization. So, if you wanted to, you know, what a lot of people do, well, there's nothing wrong with this, it just depends on how you want to play the game. Uh, a lot of people, when they save a course, they'll save it as, you know, F10, rake, 12 meters, save, right? And then they'll, they won't use folders, they'll just have a big list of all of their saved courses and you just scroll through it, find the one you want and load it. What I like to do is try and do everything in kind of a hierarchical fashion. So I'll do uh, folders, top level folders based on typically a location. 
And so I've got a VGA, an F10, F11, F12. And so in like the F10 folder, I don't even know what's in here. There's a refill course, okay. And in the F12, there's a rake, or F11 has a rake. F12 has a rake. Every course that relates to that field then, every course that relates to field 12, I would then put in the field 12 folder. And that way, you know, you can kind of keep them organized together. And it's quicker to see if you already have one recorded before you record another one. The other thing that's interesting is if you're doing transfer courses, and I didn't actually do it on this one, but um, a lot of times what I'll do is transfer and then make another folder called shop. And then when I save the course, I'll call the course to farm and then you put the shop folder inside the transfer folder and the to farm course inside the shop course. So when you go to expand it, it would say transfer shop to farm, right? So you, you can kind of read the course name by combining all the folders and the course itself. And uh, that's a good way to uh, kind of keep that all organized, especially in the transfer area because you can wind up with a lot of like shop to farm, shop to BGA, shop to field 11, field 11 to farm, farm to field 11, farm to BGA, BGA to farm, right? Because all these courses, you can have one way or two way or, you know, all, you know, each different direction from each different um, POI on the map. And once you start collecting all of those courses of all the different, you know, ways that you can drive from one place to another, that's when you can start to chain together courses. And so that's what we'll cover in the next video is how to chain together multiple courses to make a more complicated route to drive from one place to another. So be sure to check out the next video. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.